Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Blair and today's video is so exciting. I am going to be reviewing the new Bare Minerals Original Liquid Foundation and we are going to be comparing it to the Original Powder Foundation. I have worn the Original Powder for years. I've worn it in multiple videos. It's one of my favorite makeup products ever and of course when I saw they were coming out with the liquid version I knew I had to test it out for you guys and that's what we're doing today. I actually have one of them on one side of my face and the other on the other side of my face. So before you watch the rest of the video comment below and let me know if you think this side is the powder or the liquid and if this side is the powder or the liquid let me know the right and the left. I'm very curious to know what you guys think. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you like it and if you find it helpful, please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. All right, today we're going to be reviewing and comparing the new Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation to the original Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. I really wanted to film this video because this foundation claims to be the exact same thing as the original powder foundation just in a liquid form and I'm very very curious to see if that's true. What we're going to do is we're going to do one side with the new foundation and one side with the original powder foundation. Just a little bit about the new liquid original foundation is it retails for $35. It's available in 30 shades. It does have SPF of 20. It's obviously mineral based SPF, which I really love. Minimal ingredients, just like the original foundation. And we're going to compare the two today. A little backstory on the original foundation. If you watch my videos, a lot you've probably heard me talk about the fact that I always wore this when I first started wearing makeup I only wore Bare Minerals original foundation I for years that's all I wore and I wore it in the shade 03 fairly light and still to this day that's a really great shade match for me so I got the new foundation in the same shade I have seen some things that the new foundation shades don't exactly match the powder, but I don't I don't know. I just decided to use the same shade and compare the two. So this is 03 Fairly Light. I don't have any primer on my face, just skincare and my SPF. And the SPF I use today is translucent, so there's no color or anything so it's not like I'm starting out with any coverage or anything like that. So I use this one. This is one of my favorites, the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. Love this one. As you can see, it's almost gone. Let's go ahead and start. I'm so excited about this. I obviously love the original Bare Minerals and when I saw this was coming out, I this was one of those I knew, okay, I have to buy that one gotta try it so here is what the packaging looks like it's just a really simple sleek package with a twist up pump which i actually really like obviously pumps are very popular with foundation but i don't see a ton that twists like this but i actually like this packaging so i am going to do one pump so there it is. It's not super runny. Looks to be a little bit more of a whipped formula, uh, but it's not thick. It, it's definitely very thin feeling. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna use the liquid on the right side and we'll do the powder on the left side. Also, one other thing I did want to say is I do not have a ring light turned on. I'm just sitting in front of two windows so there's no artificial lighting on my face so this should be pretty accurate as to how the foundation actually looks 
I'm not sure how to how much to apply. They say this is a medium coverage foundation. I would definitely say the original is more of a medium coverage. You can build it up a little bit. I don't think you can get a full full coverage out of the original, but all right. So we've got the foundation and oh, actually, let me put some on my chin. I don't do a ton of videos like this kind of split down the middle, so this is kind of weird, okay. So let's blend this in. I'm using the Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation Brush for this. Uh, I know they have a specific brush they suggest using for this, but I don't have that brush, so I'm just going to go with this. It is kind of hard to do half of your nose with a foundation, but I'll try. So right off the bat, I definitely can see a glow on my face for sure very very radiant looking okay so that was not the full pump i still have some left on my hand that did not cover everything obviously you can still see a little bit of discoloration on my cheek but i didn't use a whole lot of product i'm going to take just a little bit more on my finger and add it here. This color actually is spot on for me, which so I'm glad I went with the same color because it, I mean, it just matches me really well. It's blending out really easily also. This brush is a really dense brush, so I use more of a padding motion for this to get the most coverage out of this product, so that's why I'm doing the padding motion. Okay, so there it is. Looks really pretty based on my first impression. I love the finish. It's definitely more of a radiant finish for sure. Like you can see, hopefully you can see it on camera. There is a definite sheen to my face and I didn't apply any primer or anything just skincare underneath this since I have a little bit left I'm just gonna keep adding and see if I think the coverage is building up on this the original powder foundation that's one of its main claims is that you can continue to build up the coverage and it won't get cakey Matt I've added a little bit more here as you can see and we're going to see how much coverage can be built with this because the original powder foundation claims to be buildable coverage. I would assume this one is supposed to be the same. So there it is. Definitely did build up a little bit for sure. I don't think, again, I, it's definitely not a full coverage. It's still definitely a medium coverage in my opinion, but it looks pretty good, honestly. I mean, I really like the finish of it. I do like more of a luminous foundation. I have pretty normal skin. I definitely have sensitive skin, but I wouldn't say my skin is overly dry and it's not oily. It's kind of right in between, just normal. So first impression, I really like it. It does not look make, I have a mirror over here, so that's why I'm looking over to the side. It does not look makeup-y at all. And I love the finish of it. And I gotta say that just based on looking at it, the finish reminds me of the original powder foundation. We're gonna move on to the original foundation. So here it is, the original powder foundation in the same shade, 03, fairly light. This is my OG makeup product. I've used this for so, so long. 
So I'm gonna take some in the cap here. I'm gonna use this with my favorite brush to apply Bare Minerals with. And this is a recent discovery, but I'm obsessed. I love this. This is by Alima Pure, and it's just their foundation brush. It's just a really big, pretty dense kabuki brush with a handle. And this, I've always struggled finding the best brush for Bare Minerals, and I finally found it. This is perfect. If you want coverage from your Bare Minerals Original, you need this brush, or you need a brush like this that's dense that you can really get coverage with. That's the issue I've had in the past. Sometimes if you don't get the brush right, you cannot get the look or the coverage you're wanting from the foundation. It doesn't matter how you apply it, how much you apply, the brush is key. So we're going to use this. We're going to swirl. Tap off the excess and because I use this brush, I do not use the typical Bare Minerals technique really that they say to swirl tap and then buff. I do more of a stippling motion. I'm basically pressing it in and barely buffing just a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply everywhere down my neck. So that is one layer of the powder. As you can see, kind of the same with the liquid side. It does not cover everything right off the bat, but it does even out the skin tone, which is what I love on a daily basis. I'm gonna add a little bit more into my cap. So we'll see if this builds up. I guess what I'm doing is using more of a stippling motion with this brush, which this is just how I have found that I get the best coverage with this powder product. So that was two layers of the powder. So powder, liquid. First observation is to me on the skin, Fairly Light looks like the same color in both the foundations. I know a lot of people are saying they don't match up, but to me, on my face, these two colors look the same. And it's obviously the two different foundations. I also think just based on looking at these, the liquid side looks a touch more radiant and luminous than the powder side, but the powder side still has some luminosity to it. I just don't think it has as much as the liquid side. So if you're somebody that really likes a hydrated finish but not really radiant looking, you would probably prefer the powder over the liquid. The coverage, to be honest, looks about the same to me. I would say both sides are a pretty solid medium coverage. Uh, I don't see anything unusual on either side. They both look relatively natural. They do look like I have makeup on, but not cakey, like I've caked on 10 layers of makeup. It just looks like I've evened out my skin tone with some foundation. I zoomed in a little more because I was looking off camera for a second. I wanted to see this foundation up close and so I could really see the two sides and I want to point something out that I'm noticing on the liquid side. And I don't know what this could be from, but, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera. Maybe you will. <laughs> I can't get any closer, I don't think. Right here at the top of my cheek, the foundation is pilling slightly, like very slightly. It looks like it's not agreeing with something that was underneath. Uh, and I used the same sunscreen all over my face before I started this video, and it's the CeraVe one. And I don't see that on this side. 
which is very interesting. I don't know what that could be from and it's not a lot of pilling and it's really only doing it right here at the very top of my cheek. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but if you look up close in a mirror, I have this cute little mirror here where you can see, this is, side note, but this is one of the Ricky Cutie Mirrors by Ricky Loves Ricky. And this, my mom got me this for Christmas, and this thing is life-changing. You can turn up the um, brightness. It's like a little lit vanity mirror. You can see so well in this mirror. Anyway, when I was looking, that's where I could see very, very slightly right here. There is a little bit of pilling. And I don't, like I said, I don't know what that's from because I use the same things on both sides of my face except the foundation. But again, even looking up close, I think the coverage is about the same. I think the fairly light color shade is the same. I do think the liquid side, like I said, is a little more radiant than the powder side, but I don't think there's a huge difference. Overall though, because of this little bit of something, I don't know what is happening there. I do think the powder side looks better. I don't think the liquid side looks bad at all, but for me personally, I prefer the side that has the powder foundation. Okay, I zoom back out so you can see. Very interested in this. I do think they, they're more similar than I thought they were going to be in my head, because when I saw they were coming out with the liquid version, I thought, mm, I don't know if you can produce the same look that the original powder gives in a liquid, but maybe you can. Uh, but I do think it looks pretty close. But there is that little issue here on this side. I don't know what that's about. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and let you know if I notice anything else. I am gonna do a wear test today as well, so I'm gonna wear these all day long and do a check-in or two with you and we'll see if one holds up better than the other. One thing I will say about the original powder, this foundation on my skin holds up really well. It does not budge. I mean, it does not budge. I, I can remember when I was younger, when I would go to like PE in school or I would like sweat for whatever reason, my mom would always sit, look at my face and say, how does your, how does that foundation still look like that, even though you've been sweating? And it's true, it really wears well on my skin at least, so I'm very curious to see if the liquid is the same way. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back. All right, so I finished the rest of my makeup, as you can see, and I wanted to give some more thoughts on these two foundations. As I was sitting here applying my makeup, I had this little mirror up close so I could really see. And I, I definitely have to say that the powder side does look better to me than the liquid side. The liquid side definitely has not only the little area up here where it's kind of pilling almost, it has, almost looks like it's clinging in certain areas. Whereas over here on the powder side, I don't notice that at all. But on this side, particularly in my cheek area, I don't have an issue with pores or anything typically. I mean, it's just not something that I find bothersome a lot of the times. I don't notice pores often on my face. But I will say that the liquid version is kind of clinging a little bit in the cheek area to where I have a little bit of a pore issue right here and a little bit of that pilling. And it looks like how makeup looks when some product you're using does not agree with a skincare product or a primer underneath. And I'm very confused by that because like I said, I use the same primer 
on my whole face. Or I use the same sunscreen. I didn't use a primer. I used this. So I don't know. I don't know if it was something maybe from my skincare that wasn't rubbed in well enough on this side. I don't know. But it's definitely doing it over here and it's not on the powder side. Overall, I definitely still think the powder looks better. I don't hate by any means the way the liquid side looks. Like I said, I love the radiant finish. Definitely a little more radiant than the powder in my opinion, but there's not a huge difference. It's definitely a solid medium coverage. I will be very curious to see how the liquid lasts today as opposed to the powder because like I was saying earlier, the powder has always worn really well on me. And I also really enjoy the Bare Minerals Bare Pro liquid foundation. That one is more of a matte, more of a soft matte finish, and it definitely is more of a full coverage than the original liquid. I enjoy that one also. So I'm very curious to see how well this lasts throughout the day as opposed to the powder. Uh, if you're not familiar with the original powder, I feel like everyone is at this point, but I believe the powder is a few dollars cheaper. Yes, so the powder is $32 and you get, let's see, 0 0.28 ounces or 8 grams. The liquid is $35 and you get one fluid ounce in here. So you're paying a little bit more, but you're getting more product in the liquid. However, I do think the powder foundation lasts so long. One of these lasts me a very long time. And another convenient thing with the powders is you don't have to worry about them expiring or going bad on you like you do with a liquid product, which is another reason why I love the Bare Minerals Original Powder. They do come in the same number of shades. They come in 30 shades. Very similar coverage level. These colors to me, fairly light in the powder and the liquid look very, very similar. The liquid might be, I mean, slightly a little more yellow than the original Fairly Light. I think the original Fairly Light is more of a neutral to yellow undertone where I think the liquid Fairly Light is definitely more on the golden yellow side. But again, I don't think there's a big difference. I think if you're fairly light in the powder, you're probably going to like fairly light in the liquid. Those are my overall thoughts as of right now. I think it's really interesting to see how they're the same and how they're different. So I am going to go about my day and I'll come back in a few hours and we'll see how everything is holding up. Okay, I'm back and it's been about five hours now since... I filmed the first clip. I changed my shirt because I filmed another video um, before I came back for this one and that's why my shirt is different. But here is what the foundation is looking like. Again, this is the liquid side. This is the powder side. On camera, they both look pretty good. They both look pretty fresh on my face to be honest. Um, one thing I did want to say about the liquid side is when I finished my makeup earlier, I did go over this side of my face with just a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. That's a powder that I love and use all the time and it always works well for me and I was looking in my little mirror before I turned the camera back on and on this cheek here where I saw the um, pilling earlier. I don't even see the pilling anymore. <laughs> I don't know if it's from maybe where I put the powder over it and that kind of smoothed it out. Cause like I said, it was just in this top portion of my cheek where I was noticing it. Um, but now I, I don't really notice it, but I will say that the liquid side is definitely, I would say, clinging in areas. And I mentioned that earlier that it kind of looked like it was doing that and it, it really looks like it now. Um, there are just certain areas where you can s literally see it sitting there and 
any tiny little bit of texture that I have, which I'm fortunate and don't have a whole lot. But what I do have is not, it's not looking the most flattering right here on my cheek. But overall, it does not look bad at all. I have not touched up at all since I did the first clip five hours ago. So this is what it looks like. Um, and then for the powder side, honestly don't see any difference with the powder side at all. Um, the powder always wears well for me, like I said earlier. So that's why I was really curious about this one. They both still seem to have the same finish, even though I did use a little bit of powder on the liquid side. It still has that glow to it. It might have taken it down just a little bit. Now it, it more evenly matches the powder side, in my opinion. But those are my overall thoughts. Not a lot has changed, other than I did notice that the powder somehow smoothed out that pilling that was happening right here. Other than that, those are really my thoughts for right now. Uh, I do still prefer the way the powder side looks though. I just think it looks more natural and less makeup-y. So that's why I like this side better. I don't think the liquid side looks bad, but I can't say that I love it as much as the original powder side. All right, it is a lot later now. It is 7.30. And I wanted to do one final check-in to close out this video. So uh, after my last clip, we went out to Target and to pick up some dinner. So I did have a mask on and I wanted to kind of look and see what things are looking like now that I've done all of that. So get my mirror so I can see up close. To be honest, it looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. It really hasn't rubbed off that much. Even my, the rest of my makeup really hasn't rubbed off that much. It's definitely still like, let me see if I can zoom in. Definitely still kind of clinging in certain areas. Um, it, that might go down if I put a little bit of powder on. Um, the powder foundation side looks the same to me, but honestly the liquid side doesn't look bad at all. I was expecting it to have worn off a good bit more than it actually has. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed overall. I, I still definitely do prefer the powder side, but this lasted better than what I was thinking it was going to. I have been wearing this for about eight hours at this point. So not a super long wear test, but eight hours is still a decent amount of time. I think if you like the original powder foundation, this one would be worth trying because I do think there are some people that are probably gonna like this, but I think it's gonna be, people either love it or really don't like it. I think I don't think there's gonna be much in between because it it is a very glowy, radiant looking foundation. So it just depends on your preferences. I personally love the coverage of it. I am very curious though about the pilling that was happening earlier. I don't know what that was from and how the powder over the top seemed to kind of fix that issue. So I don't know what that was about, but that was my main concern with it. Um, to me, if I were choosing one or the other, I would choose the powder, but I don't dislike the liquid side. I just like the powder more. It's probably unfair to test this against the powder for me because the powder is always a favorite for me. So it's gonna be really hard for this one to top that, uh, but I do like it. I, I think it's nice and I'll continue to wear it. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you've tried this foundation or if you want to try this foundation, please let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also make sure you are following me over on Instagram at the same username, simply.blair. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, simply be you.